All right, next up, new release Wednesday. SP Authentic, the new SP Authentic hockey. Case number one, here's your teams. They do that, like timeshares for a private jet? That makes sense. <laughs> Ernest on it. All right. Harp, start working on the decal now. You think they'd let me put like a tiny CSB sticker on the outside of the plane if I have one 365th timeshare of the jet? Flex jet? Is that what it's called? Wow. Learning all this stuff from you. All these rich guys. Jet setting. CSP is. <laughs> Auntie Nelda on the nose. looks clean this year actually I don't mm -hmm. know, no one really cares about the base but it looks better yeah yeah that looks good things Bugstad what is that yeah those are like par they're parallels we got a few a couple per box I would say several per box I've never seen that one come on Yelich get us back in it Yeah, they have all the spacers. Rookie Milestones, Messier. Everyone's blue in that one. Oh, just base updates for Series 1 and 2? Oh. So there's, is that a Sidney Crosby, like, red? It's red, yeah. Yeah. Kelch is running all the way to outfield, jeez. I never even saw series one or two. I didn't even break them. I didn't know that's what the base looked like. Those are nice. Yeah, they look like it looks really cool. Got the deck some nice looking cards. That's another red, huh? Super short print red base. Yeah, it does look like Skybox. Now, are there autographs this year? Or is it just base? I'll bet you. $10 that you get two in a row in about two packs. Yeah. Zach White Cloud, Future Watch, FX. Spaghetti, your Bruins. What up, Spaghetti? Man, Spaghetti never comes in chat anymore with this terrible internet. Yeah, Vodka 9 in, I guess. 2007 Bowman? Hmm, I don't even know what that is. Any yeah, hot you prospects? You get them in back to back packs like I did. Yeah. $10 for me. I think we shook on it. Oh no, because you took from the third stack. That's why. <laughs> Those were back-to-back -back packs. Yeah. Pierre Turgeon, sign of the Times 90s. Needle, well, you didn't say I had to do anything. You just said <laughs> that they would be back-to-back -back packs. That's cool that they have different a different design for the different decades. Mm -hmm. Sign of the Times I like decades. it. Brock Besser. Young guns. Are there any young guns in this stuff that are doing well besides the. Uh, what's his name? The Brin Kit. Mm. 
<clears throat> what are we on? Like box six? I lost count. <laughs> Stomkos. So much base packs. Modano. Mike Smith. Good photography on that. Oh, Clay can't play tonight. Interesting. Nathan McKinnon, Spectrum. That was box one. Just leaving top of the vet Spectrum. What? Just leaving top of the vet Spectrum. Yeah, because they have the thing on the bat. People, people sell those because yeah. I would do that. Yeah, what is the line for the game tonight? It's in Golden State still, right? Yeah. First game in Golden State, yeah. Oh, it's game three. Yeah. I think so. We'll play next one. This should be a good... If the Raptors don't win this one, you'd think, like, without tough. Clay, yeah, they're not going to do it, but... So the autographs are always, like, right there? Yeah. They were in the in both boxes I opened. Huh. They were like right in the middle of the second row. There you go. Gritty acetate young guns. Yeah, the gritty young gun. Oh, acetate gritty young guns. <laughs> I read that like a gritty young gun, like it was like <laughs> like a parallel. Or yeah, something. like a sandpaperish type of one. I forgot about gritty. Gritty acetate it really scratches the hell out of the yeah. cards in front of it. How does that work? It, acetate and it's gritty. <laughs> what will Upper Deck think of next? Chalosky, Future Watch to 9.99. Detroit Red Wings, Red Winger. And Kevin Fiala, Smashville inscribed to 50. Cool. Duff Rogers. You're right, back to back autographs right in the middle. Pearson. I read something about how he like says nope every time someone shoots and he and he has a nerf hoop in every house he lives in which I was like yeah everybody does what are you telling me people don't have nerf hoops I've had a nerf hoop put up in my in every apartment and house that I've ever had you guys do right Colin Delia Julia Gulia. Nino Niederreiter. Ned Niederreiter. Having a nerf hoop around is great. It gets you off the couch every once in a while. I'll go dunk it a couple times. Man, when I was a boy, yeah, that's all I did. We had a perfect that den. We had a garage that we just turned into a den, and it was really high, like ten foot ceilings. I would just go out there and like. Shoot it, and if it missed, like dunk it back in, like over and over and over and over yeah. and over again. Hours. Never gets old. Connor McDavid. We set him. My sister's two years younger, and 
we set up like we took duct tape and made X's all over the floor for like and made points values mm -hmm. or whatever. And then one of us would time it. Troy Terry to nine ninety nine. Oh, Delayed flight. You're on the board. Like you get one minute to try to score as many points from the thing. Great. I had like an over the door. Oh one. yeah. You know. But the it was too thick for my door to close. Hmm. At the top, so my dad like like cut a notch in the wow in the molding so that it could. Here's the opposite of, of dad's. My dad, I had it over the. Yeah, it had that little thing that went on the door or whatever. And, like, he would always go out there. I don't remember why he always went out there to do something. Go on a walk or something. And like, one time it, like, he'd get mad because the door wouldn't close sometimes. Mm -hmm. So more than once I would find my basketball hoop, like, thrown down the hill, like, way out in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> he would just rip it off the door and throw yeah. it down the hill. And then I'd just go get it and put it back on again. And then finally, I figured out how to set it up above the door jam so that it wouldn't so that it wouldn't mess with his door openings. Shveshnikov. Hmm. Yeah, three autos in that one. What I never understood is the like trash basket basketball hoops. Those are dumb. So you can throw little balled up pieces of paper into it. Yeah, them. but they're like down on the ground. Like it just doesn't. Yeah. That never worked for me. People always had those in their cubicles at jobs I had, and I was like, you're not really doing that. Yeah. No one ever really did it. Stan Makita tribute. Hm. It's like that gold foil. I don't know. Or like the laundry basket. I had like a mm -hmm. the long. Yeah, the hamper. Yeah. yeah, the hamper one. I never did it though. Shooting a pair of shorts into the basket just didn't, yeah. didn't do it for me. Was that like on a door too? It was like yeah, four feet long. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. I mean, it's cool, but. Uh -huh. yeah, one. Larry Hillman, six time Stanley Cup champion inscribed for the Maple Leafs. Cool. Matt. Some good inscriptions in SP Authentic every year. I wonder if Gretzky has like a sign of the times 80s one like that. That'd be awesome. Sure, that'd be so cool. Carl Hagelin. Hmm. The nice thing about this break harp, I know you don't love hockey or anything, but is that it gives a lot of time for the um, court kings to fill. So like by the time we're done with this, it'll be sometime later in the week, Thursday or Friday. By then, Court Kings will be all full, and then we can do it. So it's kind of nice. Michael. Clayton Keller. Oh, they have red foil on their names, too, for those short prints. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. Jace, how are you? How are you luck? For Florida. Red Winger. Wesley Person. Shad Kirk. Guy Lefleur. How's your luck? Connor McDavid. It would be fun if one of these years the Oilers were really good and we got to see Connor McDavid in the cup. Yeah. Make a cup run. Poor guy. Have they signed him yet to like a billion year thing or is he, could he leave? I don't know. Henrik Lundqvist. Seems like hockey guys don't leave. They must have some. Yeah. Some, uh, you know whatever that's favorable for the team. Bargstrom Future Watch. 
spectrum. It's a level two. He signed for long term. Yeah. Oh, that's a level two. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for that. I didn't see it. That's weird. Left corner there. Oh, the giant two on the bottom left corner. Yeah, that's true. I guess in the in hockey, you don't see like superstar young guys play out their rookie contract and leave like. Yeah, they get basketball. traded sometimes every once in a while, yeah. but like. Metallic is playing the national anthem. Yeah, they're from there, kind of. Where did they start? Daly City or some? They started some town in the Bay Area that's not. One that you would know. Fremont? No, not Fremont. I swear it's Daly City. Dude on the Islanders? Tavares? John Tavares? Oh. Sprong? Oh. There's a Young Guns Acetate, Libor Sulak. Red Winger. Oh yeah, I forgot those are like die cut. Yeah. So like the front isn't at, like the player isn't acetate. Oh, it's only three years. Justin Schultz on the Penguins side of the Times Auto. Ducati. Every time, two autographs right here, huh? Brett Sinney. The Devils. Meteor Man. Tuck side of the times. Jeez. Hulk, your Vegas Knights. Quite a few three auto boxes. 89 of them. Yeah. We've had three so far. Mm. Six that we've opened. SP Authentic Rules. Jake Bean, Young Guns. change plans or fill it up. Yeah. Oh, Alex Tuck. Nico. When's Father's Day? It's like the 21st? Or yeah, I think the third Sunday. I don't know if you guys saw the Father's Day um, offerings this year. Quite interesting. Did you? Did I show you? No. <laughs> uh, Eric Carlson. Doc, what up? It was mostly... Um, Blasters and retail stuff. 
I believe I got something for I got like optic optic fast break has like a pack per team maybe I just got one so I didn't think we could do like a bunch of blaster breaks and all that stuff I mean we could I guess but <laughs> poor doc I told you doc that was the last message it's awesome, I love it. Yep, I don't think there's a single hobby. Well, there's NASCAR hobby. I believe, I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing a single retail foot, or a hobby, uh, football, basketball, baseball type thing. I think it's all like blasters and I just think they don't have any. <laughs> they don't yeah. They sold everything out. I don't know. I have no inside information on that, but Yeah, probably a combination of like, well, we don't have much hobby, so people want these, we'll do. Uh Stars and Stripes. It might be on there actually. That one's a fun one if you like I would like buy a box of that personally to get the thing, but for breaks, like how the heck would you do stars and stripes? Yeah, yeah just random hit. Thomas Hika, nine ninety nine. Vegas. Paul, oh, your Vegas Knights. Anthony Sorelli. Damn, you're lightning. I guess it's not bad to have them in the middle like you do a row of nothing. Yeah. Space and then you got all the It's a little weird that they're always in the same place for people who are like. Yeah. Maybe you have shops and selling it by the pack. Right. Yeah, I'm sure that's already been figured out. Oh. Uh, WWE breaks. Well, there was supposed to be the new Undisputed, but it got pushed back a while. I have a little bit of last year's Undisputed left, but I haven't gotten around to doing any breaks of it. We can do it any time. Should we do some Undisputed for Super Showdown Friday? Jace, how are your luck? How's your luck? I'm not going to have luck here anymore. This one's kind of weird, too, because you're working on a fiend, and there's, like, nothing for me to do. Yeah. You know, like, at least with the finest and best and stuff, I'm always, like, sleeping in top of That's something. That's true. And, like, he's dead. Yeah, not much to do. Guy Lefleur. Look at that hair. Sweet Bowman Mixer. Mm hmm Total Vein in level 3 Future Watch. I think that's a 3. It looks like a 3. Kind of. Yeah, that's weird. Oh. Chris Taylor. It's weird. It's more often than not. Most nights, I, I, like about this time when we're breaking, I'm thinking like, bone shaker. <laughs> Go to bone shaker. Oh, now. yeah. Can we make it a bone shaker for the food order? No, I don't think so. Anthony Matha. It's fun. I love that place. Yeah, me too. Kevin was talking about a... 
What's that place called? Schmutz. Mo Moxa? Mo Some brewery over other side of Rockland that's supposed to be amazing. Oh, really? I never even heard of it. He's like, you haven't heard of it? So we should check it out. Well, if you haven't, I certainly haven't. Yeah. You it's see, weird that there's like a whole city, you know, down that way. Yeah. <laughs> like Rockland. Old Rockland. Old Rockland. It's pretty boring. Nito Niederreiter. Oh, legendary raid ha hour. We're going to lose UCCF for now. Yeah, Austin Riley was another one we had a first Bowman of. Oh, yeah. 9, 5, 10 in beef. So hopefully whoever got that hung on to it. Victor Edgeshell. Base sports cards. Your Blackhawks. Godet, the future watch patch auto to 100. Those are beautiful. Hey, Rod. Professional pile organizer. Anna <laughs> Kendrick. Yeah, she's awesome. Matthew Barzal. Spectrum. Okay, now we can probably start throwing those away. <laughs> okay. Christian Lane in level one. Wait, so level one. They're either like level zero or level one, two, or three. Only the future watch ones have levels. Uh, but that one still. Michael McLeod, Young Guns. Hold on, this drives me nuts on this. <laughs> Sounds like a couple of free uh, liter sodas, two liter sodas, UCCF. Might be worth the effort. UCCF only deals in two liter soda deals, trades. All about the Hamilton. Jake Muzzin.
Oh, the final is about to tip off. I don't know, though. I kind of want the Warriors to win because it would be kind of sad to see them lose in front of their home fans. <laughs> I feel bad for them. I didn't expect it to happen, but I think more of me is rooting for the Warriors than the Raptors. Wow. Because the, the last round just made me so angry. Yeah. That's crazy. Obviously, if the Bucks weren't in the playoffs or whatever, I would not feel that way. Yeah. Jonas Siegen, Siegenthaler, maybe. The Capitals, Tim. And a Bobby Orr, Sign of the Times. 3 of 10, Hall of Fame 1979. Awesome. Oh, Spaghetti's going to love that. Warriors are still favored. Wow. Chenyuk. Chenyuk's on the large fiber. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Just about anybody else in Bobby or or iconic. Mitch Marner. I'm like the one person who didn't think Super Troopers, the original Super Troopers, was good. I don't get it. A bunch of friends who love that movie, and I tried to watch it with them, and I just didn't. It's funny, but mm -hmm. they were like obsessed with it. Like what? Why is it so funny? I liked it, but I don't think my friends and I were like, "Oh, that's like our favorite movie ever." We're gonna watch that all the time. Cindy Crosby. watch Matthew Joseph all right one more box back to some finest baseball books oh yeah beer fest I don't know if I ever watched that Liked it, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're dumb. I mean, they're yeah, know, and they're not like particularly well made or have good <laughs> stories, you know. Josh Mahura, Young Guns. Oh, franchise icons to one ninety nine, Andre Fleury and Tuck. I guess. Franchise icons. And they are so far. They've been there as long as there's been a team. Yeah. Zach Whitecloud. If he plays his cards right, he could be a franchise icon someday. Mm -hmm. Two or three more years. <sighs> it's painful to watch DeMarcus Cousins play. Zach Hyman. Well, I finally got to watch Windy City Heat this weekend, and it was just as hilarious ever, as I remembered. So good. <laughs> the 
fell down from that. No, I didn't see it. Tarasenko. He was really good last game, though. Sveshnikov to 999. There you go. 10. Pretty good. Feels like an hour. <laughs> Jack Eichel. Spectrum Epics. It is special. I love the autographs. I love the hits. And even the uh, the young guns and all that is okay. Just too many packs of these. <clears throat> what was the stuff that had day with a cup? Oh, that was series. Was that series one or two? I think so. Yeah, it was super rare day with a cup ones. I just saw that insert and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Is that this stuff that has that? Last pack and a break. Oh, yeah. We got spacers for days now. John Gilmore, level one, future watch. Spectrum FX. All right. Some nice stuff. Bobby Moore was awesome. So we had the patch auto, Adam Gaudet, future watch patch auto to 100. Shveshnikov, Zach Whitecloud, Sagan Holmthaler, <laughs> Edge Cell, Anthony Sorelli, Thomas Heike, Brent Sinney, Jace Howard, your luck, Troy Terry, Chalosky. Man, these are tough. Thanks, Delayed Flight. Look at this Bobby Orr, 3 of 10. That was awesome. Spaghetti's going to love it. Alex Tuck, Sign of the Times. Justin Schultz. Larry Hillman, six-time Stanley Cup champion inscribed. Smashville inscribed Fiala to 50. Pierre Turgeon, Sign of the Times, 90s. Big cheese. We had a Young Guns Acetate Sulak. Level 3, Tolvanen, 2, Borgstrom, and then level 1, Future Watch, Spectrum FX of these guys, and then Veteran, Spectrum FX. Oops. McKinnon. And then uh, Tuck and Marc-Andre Fleury franchise icons to 199. There's about this many of the red kind of short print base. <clears throat> and then there's only this much vet, plain vet base. It's not really very much. That's the last we've seen of that. Yeah. Now I can't pick it up. Now they'll be in the YouTube comments. I can't believe you ruined all that base. What an amateur. Too much. <clears throat> 